before I go into the review proper, I just wanted to share a couple of things with you. Uh, first thing is why reviews. So I watch a lot of, of pen related videos on YouTube and I really wanted to contribute back to the to the fountain pen community. So I thought I'd have a go of doing doing a, some reviews myself. And, and that's that's why I'm doing them. Um, and the second thing I want to share with you is why Schaefer. So when I was in primary school, we had a handwriting competition and it was sponsored by Schaefer. And that was many, many years ago. I, I don't think they do it anymore. I, I'd be very surprised if they still sponsored um, school handwriting competitions. But that, and I happened to, to win the, um, the handwriting competition the last year I was in primary school and it was a really big thing to win. Uh, so I actually, I actually got a ballpoint pen and, and pencil, mechanical pencil set. And, um, you know, I was very proud of, of, of winning and, um, that's something that stuck with me for throughout all these years. And, and that's really why I went back to Schaefer because, you know, maybe they did it for marketing. I don't know. If they did, kudos to them. Very patient to wait for 15, 20 years for me to finally, you know, start earning enough money to go out and buy a nice or, or have a nice Schaefer pen bought for me. So, so that's why I've chosen a, a Schaefer pen. Um, now the pen I'm reviewing is, is the Schaefer Valor and it was actually a gift from my family to me for, um, for Christmas just passed. Now it's one of those gifts that you pick yourself and then tell someone that you want them, that, that you want it and, and they get it for you. So without further ado, this is the box that comes in, Schaefer Valor. You can see a little cut out there. Slides out, another box, open it up, and this is what you're presented with there. So I'll just take that out. More cardboard, more foam packaging. And this box is actually wood, so it's a very nice, very nice gift box, I think. It's it's wood finished in in glossy black and it's also available or you might also get a, a rosewood finished box uh, i think it's just luck of the draw really so i open it up and that is the inside of the box there <sighs> smells like awesome okay we'll take the pen out i'll show you that's the pen i'll show you that in a bit more detail in a moment and you pull this thing out and all this is kind of lined with the leather leather lining in here and in the bottom there you've got a little Schaefer manual thing and the kit originally comes with two blue cartridges, two black cartridges and a converter so I've used the two black and, and the blue, I've just got that one left and uh, the, the converter is already in the pen so I'll cover all that up Take the pen out and cover all that up to keep the awesome smell in there. It's like new car smell, you know, you, you just, you don't want it to go away. So it's like a new pen smell in here every time I open it. So I want to say to that. And here's the, the pen close up. And here's the pen in all its glory. So you can see this is the glossy lacquer black finish with the palladium trim. It comes in four other colors. So a brown, burgundy, and a deep blue. Sorry, three other colors, brown, burgundy, deep blue. And going through the features of the pen, you can see the cap there slanted, which I think is a very nice design. And the, the clip design follows that. So it's something really different um, compared to the traditional Schaefer design. Got a nice big white dot there to remind you what company made this pen. And palladium trim clip and you can see that it's a very nicely arched shape there so it it is quite tight it's probably a little bit too tight for my liking you know i like it tight but but not this tight and it does work though with the rounded edge there it does slide onto your pen quite onto your shirt quite easily and comes off you know without without tearing anything so you can see that cap there's quite large and the this angle here you've got a little bit of a chisel section coming out of there so I think it, it looks really nice it looks kind of like a a tie but not a formal style so it's quite a relaxed modern take on on a, on a traditional um, you know Schaefer concept 
and then moving down the cap you've got a, a center band there which is quite wide and there's a bit of a, a bevel so it angles down onto the body of the pen you can see the nice taper right down to the end and here you've got another palladium trim ring and the, the bottom is flat so you can see the top it, it's quite top heavy when it's capped and opening the pen up through screw threads you can see the threads there are actually quite broad so you don't feel those at all when you when you hold it it's very comfortable and here's the inlaid nib so it's a very classic Schaefer this one's I think this one's a little thinner than what what's available on the um, Heritage on the Heritage Legacy sorry um, so it, you know again I think that adds to the the modern feel for it you can see another palladium trim ring here and I, I absolutely love this nib I've got to say that when I first got it I wasn't overly keen on it particularly on the on the bottom end so just the way that the feet stuck out I really thought that it was like someone trying to pull pull their head through a turtleneck sweater so but from the top fantastic absolutely fantastic it's a nice long section as well so it gives you plenty of places to hold the pen and this diamond design here that they've got absolutely magnificent it's a very striking design very dynamic I, I completely love it so it's a 14k nib this one's palladium plated some of the other ones aren't palladium plated so it just matches the, the rest of the, the fittings on the pen. So the one I've got is a medium nib. You can see just a dot for a breather hole. It says Schaefer 585 and 14K on this side here. And then opening the pen up, you can see the palladium trim goes right through to all these threads for the, for the barrel. Standard Schaefer converter. So very, very simple there. And you can see the barrel here hopefully you can catch it that it's actually quite a thick um, acrylic resin they've used so it, it really adds some weight to the pen so for a plastic pen I think this one weighs about 30 grams or thereabouts which is is a reasonable weight for 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 a plastic pen but fantastic writer um, show you a very brief writing sample in a second can't say enough about it I absolutely love this pen couple of things that I do have issue with as you know all these sort of things tend to happen and this is these qualms are specific to my pen here when I got it the tine alignment wasn't quite right so it was actually visibly off and I don't know if you can see the feed there is also visibly not centered with the with the nib slit so it still writes very well and and it writes you know a nice wet line so I don't think that's affecting the flow at all and so I just try to do use some of the techniques that I've, I found in a video called Tweak for Geeks so they covered a bit of basic nib tuning try to use some of those concepts to, to try to just get the, the tines back in alignment so it's pretty good now with the naked eye you know didn't use any magnification that's how much it was out that I could actually visibly see the tines weren't aligned with the naked eye so fix that up it, it seems to write well I mean it always had written very well I think it was just a personal thing that that kind of bugged me so that was one of the issues with my particular pen a couple of things that you know aren't great about the pen and could probably be improved quite easily so in here there's a plastic you can, you can just see it there you can catch it that white inner inner lining of the of the cap so there's a quite a little bit of a step there on the very edge which poses a, an issue when you go to cap the pen if you're not careful about it, it the tip of the nib can just catch on there and then it doesn't slide in quite well you know I don't know if it's going to co cause any major problems but I just feel that there's a risk of of buggering up your nib basically so sorry that's just the Aussie in me coming out and um, and you know it's a bit it's a bit annoying and the other thing as well sometimes the threads don't quite line up um, but you know if you take things slow and and just take your time with what you're doing and relax it, it all just goes together quite nicely so that's the features of the pen 
couple of things I um, well you know I told you what I liked about it the whole thing and and what and a couple of uh, of issues that, that the pen's got um, so I'll give you a, a nice close-up of all the details of the pen next okay starting from the top there's that nice angle there and going down into the clip you can see all the nice shininess of it the center cap band so on one side Schaefer and on the other side Italy so this pen is made in Italy I think it's um, designed in Germany and, and something to do with America in there as well being Schaefer so that's the barrel let's take it out and I'll show you the nib section there you go so I believe the nib section is still made in the US there you go threads turn around let me show you the feed and that's a close up of the pen on to the writing sample so here's a brief writing sample uh, just the important stats of the pen Schaefer Vella medium nib 14k inks Pelican Edelstein Sapphire and my final thought for the day you don't see God to believe you believe God to see thanks for watching bye